Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to take this grouped data and make it into a histogram. Uh, it's very difficult to do in Excel, so I'm going to use GeoGebra. So that's a finished product, that's what I'm going to do. So a frequency histogram where the widths are equal length, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to open a, a new uh, GeoGebra uh, window. We're going to right click on here and we're going to set up the uh, axes first of all. So I want the axes to be going from let's say uh, minus 10 up until 110 and then I want the y to go from about minus 2 up until 20. I like to be bold, lifestyle to be that and I'm going to go to the x-axis I want the distance here to go up in tens okay and I need the label to say mark for the, that's what they represent and then I go to the y-axis I'm going to want them to go up in ones okay and the label here to be frequent frequency okay so just set our axis up to begin with okay so that's that's all right to begin with all right so you need, just need to set up the axis okay uh, let's just go back to the spreadsheets here so we'll go back to the spreadsheet so the spreadsheet represents marks in the exam Okay, so it's been grouped from 1 to 10, 10 to 20. So you have to decide if someone got 10, which category they would actually go in. That you just, as long as you're consistent all the way throughout, it doesn't matter. So here are our frequencies. There's 100 altogether, and these are our marks of going up from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Okay, so let's go back to um, this. First of all, what we need to do, sorry, is copy this. So copy that and then go back to uh, GeoGebra and just stick that control V and stick that in there like that okay highlight it right click on it and then there's this thing called create here create a list and just leave it like that okay what we need is the bin width the bin width is the width of each bar so we're going to call that B for bin is equal now you need to use the curly brackets and you need to start from 0 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 comma 60 comma 70 comma 80 comma 90 comma 100 okay and press enter Right, and we're all uh, set to go now. That's all, all the information we actually need. We type in histogram, and look, that comes up. And basically, we just want to do the most simplest one. The most simplest one, which is this one here. This one here. So we click on histogram. Okay, so the list of the boundaries is going to be B, because that's what it's called. So let's B up here. And then the heights of each one is going to we're going to relabel that his front list one. Make sure you take those um, equals greater than or equal signs out. Okay, and lo and behold, there there appears our histogram. We press enter. We probably don't want A is one thousand, so we we'll right click on that and get rid or show label. Now, if you want to format the bins. Object properties. I assume you could change the color like that to whatever color that you wanted to to use for your heights. Okay, so this has been a so and then if you want to put that into a Word document or PowerPoint, then you would have to um, cut and paste it as a photo and stick it in that way. Okay, so this has been uh, to show you how to draw a basic histogram in GeoGebra from an Excel spreadsheet where the data has been grouped. So this should give, will give me a visual pat pattern of the um, data. Okay, and I uh, thank you very much for watching.